men's overall results. 16th, Michael Fitzgerald. 15th, DJ Wickham. 14th, Jeremy Thiel. 13th, Patrick Burke. 12th, Sven from Iceland. 11th, Jason Kalipa. 10th, David Millar. 9th, J Jeff Leonard. 8th, James Fitzgerald. 7th, Blair Morrison. 6th, Spencer Endel. 5th, Steve Willis. 4th, Peter Egan. 3, Miko Salo. 2, Mo Kelsey. And the first place position is still held by Tommy Hackenbrook. Did I say Peter's the name right? Edge 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 Yeah, um, I think my leads, I don't know what the stands are, but I'm pretty sure my leads about nothing now. So it's, I think the field probably just got a lot tighter, and I think you can see the same thing on this next one. Um, I'm, I guess I'd be classified as a little bit of a bigger guy here. I, I think Mo's probably in second place. He's a bigger guy, so this event is probably catered slightly to smaller guys. Um, I think it's just going to get really close going to that final wad. It's going to be a really exciting finish. Um, and then the second workout for them is going to be a triplet, max rounds in eight minutes of handstand push-ups, kettlebell swing, GHD sit-ups. Every rep counts. So that we're going to have to think about how we want to, uh, that's going to be critical we score it correctly and accurately. And, uh, and we'll go over the range of motion. For the handstand push-ups, everyone's using those fixed width uh, parallettes. Yeah, the kettlebell swings, some guys will be faster than others, but everyone here is going to knock them out. Um, GHDs might, might be a little bit different, but it's really handstand push-ups going to be where it's won or lost. Whoever can you know, knock out straight sets, seventh, eighth minute, are going to come out on top probably. Handstand push-ups, eight kettlebell swings, 12 GHD sit-ups, max rounds in eight minutes. It's a sprint. Four, eight, 12. Here's the range of motion requirements for the handstand push-up. Kick up on these fixed width parallettes, come down, touch the plates, lock your arms out. Come down, four reps. Kipping is not allowed. Tell me that. Four reps, come to the kettlebell. Man weight for the kettlebell, two pood. Eight swings. At the top, the bell is all the way overhead, splitting them in half. Go down. Yeah, buzz. The buzz. Eight of those. Then you come to your GHD and 12 GHD sit-ups. What we're looking for in the back is both hands touch at the top. Both hands touch. Do a couple. One. Two. Faster. Three. Four. Five. Rest. Hands touch in the back. Hands touch in the front. That's one round. Max rounds in eight minutes. Athletes, any questions? You just told us it's going to be this event, the handstand push is going to be tough for everybody. What's, I think it's going to be, what's wrong with the setup? I think it's going to be really challenging. We've got a standard uh, set for men and women with a 30 inch width on that uh, parallel bar. So some people are going to have some issues with that. I don't believe they're allowing kipping in this, which personally I'm okay with. Uh, but due to that width, they're going to get fired up really hard. That range of motion is going to be a little bit deeper range of motion maybe than they normally train. If they're not used to changing the load from a flat hand to a load for a parallel, that might be an issue. But the bigger issue here really is the width of that parallel. That fixed 30 inches, it's gonna be a nightmare for some people. What's wrong with that? I mean, normally in, in gymnastics, a cubit measurement is measured between the fingertip to the elbow, about the width of my chest, right? So let's just say I'm on parallel bars, I'm about to do a uh, compulsory of some kind. I'll normally go just a little outside the width of my chest. I've never said anything at 30 inches ever. So the fact that it's set at 30, that's what they picked for this standard, it's gonna make it hard. You're gonna see some people have some hard time with this. More than a hard time, you were saying, uh, is everybody gonna make it through? Uh, if I was a betting man, I'd say probably not. Let me ask you, is it a mistake? Is it too wide? Is this an unfair? Does it put everyone at a disadvantage? You know, I think that's subjective. I don't know necessarily that I think every, everybody has the same standard here. So 
you know, this is CrossFit, it's very, uh, and that's the thing. I'm not going to say that it's unfair, but I, it, it's wide. It's a wide stance. Is it too wide for the athletes to actually show whether they are fit and able to do this particular motion? I think the proof will be in the pudding. We'll see. Likely. I mean, the next, uh, the next two events are uh, very pure CrossFit events, and uh, the guys who train CrossFit pure um, are going to have a, a, a bigger advantage if, they're, if their conditioning is enough to let them keep going at this point. Five, four, three, hands off for parallettes until we go. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Thank you. 
third or fourth. Eight, he's on third round. David Millar finishing his third round. Jeremy Thiel on his fourth round. Patrick Bird. Patrick Bird. Jeff Leonard on his third round. Fourth round. Fourth round. Eight. 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 He's gonna finish right here. About to finish his sixth round. Six minutes down. What round? One minute remaining. Seconds. Ten seconds. Five, four, three. Two, one, time. Where'd he finish? I think it was six rounds plus four. Jason Khalifa, six rounds down plus four. Patrick Burke finished with? Seven plus five. Seven plus five. How <laughs> done? Good five. Good job. DJ Wickham. What? Five and four. How'd Jeremy do? Michael Fitzgerald, five. Michael Fitzgerald, five rounds. Still smiling. Always smiling, baby. Patrick. Patrick. Yeah. Tremendous showing, huh? Yeah. yeah. Are you happy with that? Yeah. Yeah. That's fun. How are the how are the kettlebells when the records are being very very strict? Yeah, I was nervous, but. He just do it, I don't know. Yeah, I was nervous at first, but I don't, I don't know. When you gotta do it, you gotta do it. What is, uh, how do you do training? How do you do program? How do you do program before you? I do. How do I do it? Uh, constantly varied, always attack weaknesses. That's about as simple as it gets. How about the two food, or how is the two food? Not that bad, I mean, I have one, so I, 
I, I always use it. I always sub it for L1. I always sub it for the 53. One, one food or whatever. Rounds to beat. Seven and four. Seven rounds, four reps into it. Patrick Burke. Let's go. OPT. Look, at the first running, we proclaim the winner, the fittest man alive, James Fitzgerald. Ne next year, Jason Kalipa. But these people have as much right to that title as do uh, uh, the current NHL, NFL, or NBA champs. You know. Is there a better basketball team somewhere than the Lakers? I don't know, man. We had the finals and the, and the Lakers won. Now, maybe someone might claim there's a basketball team out there that no one's ever heard of and full of players that no one's ever heard of that are better, but it's, the claim is, is fundamentally meaningless because uh, you're not in a game. And that's what we're doing here. We're, we're setting up a, an opportunity for someone to prove their fitness. Nico Silva, Lowe Kelsey, and Tommy Axelberg. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, go. OPT on the kettlebells. Steve Willis with an early lead. OPT right behind. Nico Salo. Tommy, all three on. Steve Willis, first back to the handstand push-ups. Brett Marshall right behind. Me Three athletes on the head, kettlebell swings of their second round. Steve Willis with the lead. Nico Salem, second. James Fitzgerald, third. Two minutes down. Steve Willis back to his handstand push-up. Nico Salo, James Fitzgerald also moving back to their handstand push-up. Steve Willis, Miko, and OPT all swinging. Steve Willis, GHG sit-ups. Seven. Eight. Hey, you need to transition faster. You need to transition faster. Three minutes into it. Nico 
Marco Cerro has the lead. Chance and Cheryl in second. Nico Cerro second, Nico Cerro first, James Cerro second place. Four minutes into it, halfway. He's about to finish what? Finish four here. Nico and James about to finish their fourth round. Rounds to beat, seven rounds, four reps. Patrick Burt. Nico Sayo, James and Joe, back and back. Nico Sayo, James and Joe, back and back. Both starting their kettlebell swings. Five minutes, three minutes remaining. OPT now has the lead. OPT's in front. Finished five rounds, two minutes remaining. Time to be seven rounds. He just finished five. Nico Cedo finished five. Nico Salo's retaking the lead over OPT. Get him, catch him, James. One, get him up. Oh, no. One minute remaining. Do you have a pen on you? Yeah. Thirty seconds or I'm six rounds down. Nico Salo, six rounds complete. 30 seconds remaining. <laughs> 10 seconds. One, time! What a finish. Six plus four swings.
Nico Salo, six rounds, four swings. Patrick Burke from the previous round still had the high with seven and four. Let's hear it for all the athletes. Okay. Um, okay. Oregon up. Okay. And then here are the women's results. Okay. Don't have it. What do you mean? You were killing no. it, dude. Yeah, it looks like I am, but I'm not. What makes you say that? You just know yourself. Yeah. I, I fly through Nate for 20 rounds. My expectations were higher, so I did the best I can. I just I don't have it right now. I gotta I gotta refuel. Yeah. I gotta come back and leave everything out for this one, my last one. Forever. The final event. Yeah, I think it'll be my final CrossFit event. Really? CrossFit count, yeah. I'm um, to that point where I gotta really question stepping back and helping others as opposed to doing it myself. Yeah. What's your feeling? I saw you s sort of salute the crowd there. Yeah, because the I know right? I'm getting to the end, right? Did you, did you sort of look at that as sort of a, yeah. a, a farewell? That was sort of like your last time on stage? Yeah. Really? You really feel that? Yep. You truly feel yeah, that I do. Way? It feels good too. It doesn't sound like it, but it does. <laughs> I'm not saying never, but I can sense it, you know? You gotta be realistic too. There's only more, this is only gonna evolve and get worse and tougher. And you just gotta understand what you can and cannot do, right? And I'm getting there. It was awful. Um, should train better. I get lazy on my handstand push ups when I train. I let my feet come away from the wall. A lot of times on the last rep, and I did that here, and we're held to a lot stricter standards. And that's how it should be, so I wish I would prepare a little better for that. Um, it was tough. It was a very tough event. It's just, just it's gonna be tough to beat Miko Salo out there. He, that guy just turns it on. He keeps going. So I can feel him breathing down my neck. I don't know what the standing is gonna look like after this one, but uh, he's a great athlete. So. I felt pretty strong. The handstand push-ups was good for me. The kettlebell swings, there was pretty tight rules, so I got denied goals for maybe 20, <laughs> but still, chances are good. Strike! No! No! Strike! Strike! Yeah, absolutely fair, fair. Um, tell me about the handstand push-up. That's involved with a lot of people. No, no, it was good. the best part of the VOD for me. <laughs> You're all alone here. Yeah. Is it lonely at all? No, no, the community is really good. We're speaking each other and cheering up, but after workouts, I like to sit alone a little bit, calm down, and then, then I go talk to people. The next workout? Do you know what the next workout is? No, no, I don't. When are you I don't know. Hopefully before it's begins. <laughs> I checked them out, yeah. And how are they? Scary. Are you still in first place? At one point. Mika, how, how, with Miko Salo right behind me, who's impressed me as much as anybody this weekend. And in first place, Tommy Hackenbrun. I can, I can do all the movements. It's not. I'm not worried about any particular skill or anything. It's just this is gonna take a lot out of me. Um, Miko's a smaller guy, so. But hopefully I can knock out thrusters better than him. And, and you know, there's a couple movements I feel good about, and a couple things like burpees and, and pull-ups that he's gonna be really strong in. So can't wait to get going. <laughs>